Hey guys, it's Tia, welcome to the video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to connect Google Analytics to these free print-on-demand websites, so Redbubble and TeePublic, step by step. It's pretty much the same process for both websites, so I thought I'd just you know, combine them in one video. Now Google Analytics shows you a lot of data about your shop and customers, which can be overwhelming, but if you watch till the end, I'll be showing you which single analytics metric I use to decide on which designs to make. There's just one that's important, and at least in my opinion, and your Redbubble dashboard doesn't show you this. T Public doesn't even show you anything, so that's why you even need to install analytics in the first place. Recently, I got a question asking what is analytics and how to install it, especially with the um, Google switching to the latest version of the analytics suite, it's called GA4, whereas Redbubble and T Public tracking still uses universal analytics, so that has been confusing for some people. And I realized I haven't actually shown you how to install these things yet, so here is that video. Now, just a reminder, I have a Redbubble and print on demand playlist with all my strategies for how I make sales. I'll link that in the description. There's also step-by-step -step written versions of these tutorials, one for Redbubble, T Public, and Etsy separately on my website, which I'll link as well. Now let's get started, right? Assuming you don't have an analytics account already, you just wanna type into Google, uh, Google Analytics. And if you've already signed up for analytics, then you can just go on your homepage and then click on admin and then create account. That will take you to the same spot so we can carry on from here. So if you don't have an account, then click on Google Analytics click on start measuring and then we're at the same spot. Every time you want to track a different store or a different website with Google Analytics, you have to set up a new account. So that's not a Google account, but an analytics account. Okay, so for example, uh, my Google account, I have several analytics accounts inside of that. And today we'll be setting up one for our Redbubble or T Public Shop. So under account name, you just want to put your store name. So for example, Tia's Redbubble Shop and account sharing settings don't really matter. You can just leave that and then press next. So under property details, uh, you can put something like all website data, make sure you choose the right time zone and currency for you. You can edit all these property details later in admin anyway. Now, this is the most important step, which they've made really easy to miss for some reason. You wanna click show advanced options. Then you wanna turn on the create a universal analytics property and as you can see, they've sort of hidden it here. So you really have to look for it. So here the website URL will either be www.redbubble.com or tpublic.com, depending on which one you're installing it for. And you need to create a separate analytics account per shop. So if you want to do this for another shop, then you need to start again. Now also you wanna keep create both a Google Analytics 4 and a Universal Analytics property checked and also enable enhanced measuring this will make two properties for your site and I'll show you what this looks like later. Now, the reason you want to keep both of these is that it's possible Google might completely get rid of Universal Analytics in the future and replace it entirely with GA4. I don't know if this will definitely happen, but you might as well create both now. Then just click on next, fill out your business information. Doesn't really matter what you put here. Uh, they just want to know a bit more about your business. I've heard if you put very large, they might try to send you like consulting stuff but obviously this won't be applicable here. Now click create, read through this stuff, I guess, um, and then tick also accept and then press I accept. Okay, so you should get this page if you just close this down um, and save. Now we can see our accounts by pressing here. Uh, so we only have one account here. Um, and it's created two different properties for us here. Okay, so these are our properties and we're gonna be looking at the UA tracking property. So let's open the website data. And this is what your uh, blank homepage would look like because we haven't connected our shop yet. So when you've opened your admin, which is down here, you can find your UA tracking code up here, but you can't copy and paste it. So got to go to tracking info and then tracking code. And in this code here, you'll be able to see that same code. So just highlight it without the quotation marks and then command C or control C to copy. I'll do Redbubble first. So you can go to your dashboard, um, click Google Analytics, and then you can copy and paste your web property ID with the UAs and the numbers. So that's what it looks like. And then press save changes. 
and now that's saved so if you go back to your home page in your analytics account then in about 24 to 48 hours, your analytics should start to show some data. For T Public, it's a very similar process. So hover over my accounts, um, then click accounts, and you get to this page. This is just my demo account. Go to Google Analytics. That's where you paste your code. It's that same UA tracking code that Analytics gives you. But remember, if you want to track two stores or two different websites, then uh, you'll need a different Analytics account and then press submit and that should do the same thing. And once you've done that, you should start to get some data and it will look something like this. I'm just using my personal website as an example. So um, for basic starters, users is the number of unique visitors on your page or any product pages linked to your account. And you should ideally subtract one because it does count yourself. A session is defined as a group of user interactions. So you might get one visitor, but if that visitor comes on your page twice, that's recorded here as two sessions. Now bounce rate is the percentage of people who only visited one page on your site, or in this case linked to your shop. So you want this number to be lower because a high bounce rate means that people just clicked on one of your listings and then clicked right off. You want them to be staying on your pages for as long as possible. Bounce rate is usually pretty high for marketplaces. Mine is like 80 to 90% for Redbubble and Tee Public because they always have other people suggested items on the side, which distracts them. So don't worry about this too much. And session duration is how long on average a visitor spends on your shop or product pages. You can also see in real time how many people are on your website. There's a lot more things you can play around with, such as insights. Um, which websites your audience comes from. You can even see things like your audience's uh, age, demographics, uh, behavior, and then you can sort of target people in uh, the general demographic that your uh, visitors come from. So it's a lot of stuff that you can look at, but as I said, I'll be showing you just one metric that I use which I think is the most important to decide on what to focus on next in all of my shops. So if you go back to homepage, and then scroll down to the very bottom. We can see this box here, which shows us what pages your users visit. Now set that to last 90 days. This is for my website, obviously, and then open the pages report. So it shows you the pages in your shop that get the most traffic. Now this is something you cannot see through your Redbubble dashboard, okay? Um, but it is very important and it's the reason we install analytics in the first place, at least for me. Um, you can actually see which product pages are getting the most views. You want to create more designs with those keywords in the top ranking pages, as well as more of the designs that have sold for you, obviously. The designs which sell the most will probably have the most traffic as well. Um, but if not, you still want to be designing more of the ones that get more traffic because these are what brings visitors to your shop. So hopefully you found that helpful and now you have analytics installed on all your shops and you know what data points to look for to increase your traffic and sales. If you did find that video useful, check out my Redbubble playlist, which has videos about exactly how I make sales. Remember to like and subscribe, all my socials, links and discount codes down below and I'll see you in the next video.